Check this out. Your woman already know what she got. She already know you digging them guts out, right? So hear me out on this, man. If you're shredded and you're on point 24-7 and you didn't get and you didn't get complacent with her, she know that once she stopped giving you sex, you could get another chick like this. That gonna make her go crazy, bro. So that is the only way to deal with a woman not giving you sex. You don't have to scream at it, you don't have to explain yourself. Because if you go into her, like that's men, bro, I get it, bro. We're logical. So you probably brought it up to her, like, okay, you know, I feel like you know you my girlfriend, you my wife. Like, bro, that's your wife. Like, I feel you. So you probably brought her to like, yeah, you know, you're my wife. So I feel like I at least should have sex Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like you pleading with her. That is so beta. Now, as a man, I get you. It's logical. You have an issue and you present it to her. But as a woman, how she perceiving it is like this. Man, this dude can't get no other woman. So why am I with him? Did I really just marry a beta male? Man, what's up, YouTube family, man? Welcome back to my channel, bro. So look, check this out, man. So one of my subscribers, he uh, slid in my DM on Instagram. He asked me a real good question. I feel like it'll help a lot of you out, you feel me? So basically, long story short, he pretty much is saying that, you know, he got married and you know what I'm saying? He feel like his wife, he losing his wife or whatever. And you know, he trying to figure out what can he do to get his wife back, right? And you know, he explained that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, he sent me like two or three different paragraphs. But like I said, it's gonna be long story short, you feel me? So basically, long story short, he was saying that, um, you know, he know that he slipped up off his masculine frame, you know, he slipped up, you know, he was simping, over-validating, you know, he felt like, he was doing everything that he felt like a husband is supposed to do to his wife. And you know, me, I'm being real, bro, at the end of the day, no matter how many red pill videos I make, you know, it's like saying women, this, this, and this, I really felt him on it, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, bro, we're men. We're designed to protect our woman. We were designed to protect our queen, you feel me? So when he was running it to me, I felt him on it, bro. So best believe, man. You gotta understand, bro, in the, in the world that we live in, we have the red pill and the blue pill matrix. Most of us, 90% of us live in the blue pill matrix, which is, you know what I'm saying, we think that we gotta be Prince Charming to a woman, which in, in our guts, that's how we feel, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro, my Zodiac is a Libra at the end of the day. See, I just know the game, so I go against my natural instinct as a Libra. But bro, I'm probably like the biggest simp out of all y'all, you feel me? Like, so when I tell you I felt him on him, when he was saying like he just trying to treat his woman like a queen, but it seemed like the more that he do it, the more that she go away from him. I felt them on you feel me video topic here is for my bros that want to be in a relationship and how to date and still be red pill to make sure that you don't lose your woman you feel me so listen up bro it's not really that hard but just some things that you got to reconstruct your mind on. I got some points written on the board all right so you just got to understand female nature I'm gonna teach you what you got to do so you can keep your woman around so first thing first bro understand the female nature bro when you in a relationship she will pull back she will test you and she's gonna hold out on sex bro and that was like a key point that he pointed out to me in this marriage, you feel me? That he was like, you know, she's not giving him sex like how you want to. So that's going to be a real big topic that I speak on, you feel me? So look, you got to understand, bro. In a dating game, when you dating a female and you make it exclusive and you make it her, your girlfriend, y'all no longer dating, you got to understand that competition mode is over with. She's not competing for you no more. See, the reason why she was dating you because whatever you did to get her number, you was her alpha male. So whatever you did, you did it for her, you feel me? So when you when you made it when you made everything exclusive, she knows that okay, she got you hooked, right? So when she have you hooked, she don't have to do as much as what she once was doing for. She don't have to chase you no more. She knows that she got you in the bag, bro. So therefore she's gonna pull back. And as men, bro. We could call it spade a spade. You could act like you too alpha, blah, 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 blah. But let's just be real for a second. If you hang around with the same shorty for like two or three or maybe six months, you feel me? And the vibe is good and shorty cool, you know what I'm saying? She rubbing your head, the conversation dope, like everything cool. You gonna catch feelings, bro. Like that's gonna be your partner, you feel me? That's gonna be your dog, right? So with that being said, when she pulled back, you're gonna be like, yo, like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Cause that's still into us to go chase, right? So when she pulled back, it's just a manipulation game that she running with you, by the way. But when she pulled back, you're gonna chase her, right? And one thing a woman hate is a needy man, right? See, when y'all first was dating, right? And if she would've pulled back on you, 
you would have just ghosted her or just kept doing your own thing, you feel me? But now since Phil is involved, she know this, right? So she's gonna pull back and make you transition out your alpha frame into a beta male frame. So when you transition to your beta male frame, you start chasing her, you just making her go further and further away. Because she, she, like I say, she's already out of competition mode. So now you proving to her that you have no options, which I know is fucked up because you're in a marriage, you're not supposed to have options. Like, come on, bro. I'm raised right, I'm Baptist, I'm religious in the church and all that, you feel me? So. Trust me, you're not supposed to be cheating on your wife or none of that. But it's just the game that you gotta play to keep them on their toes, bro. So she already know that you don't have options because you're chasing her. Because when she start acting up and you start acting like a beta male and over pursuing her, she's and you sub, you subliminally telling her you have no other options. See that your world is her world. So now she got you up under control and she's gonna keep falling back and she actually gonna start losing respect for you because you're not looking like an alpha male. You're starting to look like a beta male. So the only thing that you need to do in this situation when she start pulling back, you need to fall back. See, that's how the game go, bro. See, if you want to be in a relationship and red pill, if you want to be, if you want to have a successful relationship with a woman, you always got to keep them on their toes. You always got to keep them guessing. You feel me? No matter if you're married or not married, if you're in a two-year relationship or whatever. And once you be exclusive, the game never stops. You always got to be played. You always got to be smooth. So whatever that she throw at you, you throw it back simple as that so when she fall back you fall back now let me tell you why you need to fall back though see when you fall back that competition see she got comfortable so that competition mode get reach that competition mode get re-sparked again because you gotta look at it like this she's used to dudes chasing her when she fall back right so when you don't chase her when you when she fall back she's gonna be like hmm what is he doing i wonder who he's with I wonder why he's not chasing me. I wonder why he's not validating. That is how women think. And so therefore she's gonna chase you, but it's not gonna be instantly. Like none of this shit is instantly, bro. So you gotta understand this. When you pull back, she might pull back even harder just to see how strong and just to see how strong and masculine you truly are. Most people fail at the pull back game at this point right here. When she fall back, and then you fall back, maybe two or three days go by, she might really dose your ass just to really see what you're gonna do. She really gonna see what you gonna do, right? All you gotta do is stay masculine, stay busy, go hang with your partners. Cause I know you're not hanging with your partners no more. Let's just be real. Um, bro, we all been in a relationship, bro, so I know you're not hanging with your partners. You feel me? I know you ain't doing your hobbies no more. Like literally your world is her world, you feel me? Start going back to living your old life. I know how you I know you've been in a relationship so long till you forgot how it is, but just start back living your own life. Be be occupied, be busy. You know what I'm saying? Go figure out something, go read a book or something, do something, bro. Like you just have to go fast, maybe like two or three weeks. And I promise you, she will chase you. Now, if, you know women are very passive aggressive. She's not she's not gonna come back and just suck your dick or do whatever, like cook breakfast for you shit. If she might be bitching or whatever, whatever, whatever. But listen, if you got her complaining to you, she see see they can't women don't know how to like express herself correctly. But I promise you, if she's bitching at you about, you know, you're not giving her attention, blah, 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 blah you winning just trust me on that bro because you put her in competition mode so now she don't feel important to you so now she's going to express herself to you in a manner to where you got to give her attention but you don't give it to her instantly but just know psychologically you win like i said it might be an argument or whatever she's gonna come back bitching but just know if she's bitching at you you winning i right? you you fucking with her head right like i say bro you gotta keep them on their toes so my next point is this right here bro you gotta understand we in a relationship or a marriage bro you have to understand she would test you to the day that you die now to handle her test the only way the only way to pass her test bro you gotta just stay on your mask in the frame you gotta be the same dude that she met and never change and if you do change change for the better be changed to be a better alpha male change to be the be the best version of yourself that's the only way to go bro because the moment you start failing her test the more that she perceive you as a beta man the more that she perceive you as a beta man the more tests that she give you and she's gonna keep testing you and testing you and testing you and testing you and the more that you fail her test the more of a beta male you look like to her you feel me so what you need to do bro to stay on your masculine frame because you gotta understand bro at the end of the day you have to pass all her tests bro a woman is designed to test you because it's in their instinct, bro, to always be with an alpha male. So she's constantly questioning if you're an alpha male or not, or could she do better? So that is the purpose of the test. She's trying to see can she do better than what she already have, you feel me? Just keep that psychologically in her mind. So when a woman throw a test at you, you would never know. She's not gonna say this is a test. 
But you know what I'm saying? When she's acting up, bro, 10 out of 10, she just testing you to see how you gonna handle the situation, you feel me? Just stay on your mask in the frame. Move accordingly, be a man, be alpha, and rise above it, you feel me? Cause when only thing you gotta do is just pass the test. If you, once you pass the test, she might not test you again for probably like a month. But if you fail her test, basically she gonna test you again probably tomorrow the next day and next day so forth. You see where I'm going there with this? So it's very critical that you stay on your alpha mentality, bro. Seriously. And this point right here, why I say it's so important, bro. This right here, bro, is the truth. A lot of my partners, even my partners, bro, they married just like you married, bro. Any man, you can ask any of your partners in a relationship, by the way, bros. If y'all not in a relationship, ask any of your homeboys in a relationship. Ask them do they get sex how you think they get sex. See, as men, we got this bad conception to thinking that, okay, if I get into a relationship, I have unlimited pussy. Nah, it don't work like that, fam. When you get into exclusive relationship, bro, like I told you earlier in my beginning, like I told you earlier with my points, when you get into exclusive relationship, you taking the competition mode off of a woman. You feel me? Women are jealous hearted by nature. You feel me? The only reason why she was giving you so much sex and just doing everything that you wanted with sex is because she was competing with other women. And psychologically, that's just how they built. That's psychologically, that's just how they are inside their head. You feel me? That's in their instinct, bro. Women are very competitive. They want to be with the alpha male. So, and like I said, whatever you done for her, you was the alpha male, right? She was going to do anything that you wanted her to do in the beginning phases. You feel me? But once you made everything exclusive, she don't have to do it no more because she's no she's exclusive. She's not in competition mode no more. So the sex would literally go into a decline, like maybe after your third to fourth month into your relationship. Seriously. So what you need to do in this situation, bro, you just, you gotta, it's hard to do it because you're in a relationship because she gonna always be, you know what I'm saying? She always gonna be complaining. Like you never gonna, like, you never gonna avoid the complaints and the arguments, bro. But you have to keep it play. You gotta keep on her toes. You gotta keep her guessing, bro. Point blank period. That's the fact of the matter, bro. And you just have to understand, bro. When you get into a relationship, you have to understand that you're, you're basically about to sacrifice all the women out here just for her. And when you make that sacrifice, bro, best believe she's already knowing that, okay, you're going to invest all her time into it. Because, listen, when the box is good, bro, when it's good to you, bro, you're going to start simping for it. And the more that you simp for it, the more she's just going to dangle it in front of your face, bro. You feel me? Like, you, it, whatever you thinking, like, okay, I need to make her exclusive to get more, or she's pu pushing an issue to you, just stay on your masculine frame, bro. Do not fall for the trap. You feel me? And if she doesn't, like, if she stopped giving it to you, period, you not doing it for her no more. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, women are sexual just like how we're sexual. You feel me? So, just like with you, bro. I'm a, I hate to use your example, but you know how you told me you stopped hitting the gym and you stopped taking care of your body. As men, we get comfortable. You got to stay sharp, bro. You got to stay sharp. You have to stay the alpha male to it, bro. Women want to have sex just like how we want to have sex, you feel me? So if your woman is not having sex with you, bro, that is a very, very, very critical point, man. And like I said, bro, the main reason is because she's out of competition mode. But the other reason, too, you, you, you got to mix it up. You got to spice it up at the end of the day. So like half of it is her fault and the other half is your fault, bro. You need to keep your physique on point. You need to, and the reason why you need to keep your physique on point is because it need to push her back into competition mode, right? Look at it right there. Just, just look at it like this. Just hear me out on this point right here, bro. Just hear me out. Let's say you shred it, right? You fucking shred it. You the most handsome dude in your city, right? Check this out. Your woman already know what she got. She already know you digging them guts out, right? So hear me out on this, man. If you're shredded and you're on point 24/7 and you didn't get and you didn't get complacent with her, she know that once she stopped giving you sex, you can get another chick like this. That gonna make her go crazy, bro. So that is the only way to deal with a woman not giving you sex. You don't have to scream at it, you don't have to explain yourself. Because if you go into her, like, that's men, bro, I get it, bro. We're logical. So you probably brought it up to her, like, okay, you know, I feel like, you know, you my girlfriend, you my wife. Like, bro, that's your wife. Like, I feel you. So you probably brought it up to her, like, yeah, you know, you're my wife, so I feel like I at least should have sex Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like you pleading with her. That is so beta. Now, as a man, I get you. It's logical. You have an issue and you present it to her. But as a woman, how she perceiving it is like this. Man, this dude can't get no other woman. So why am I with him? Did I really just marry a beta male? 
that is how women think bro like i said i didn't create them these are the creatures that we dealing with bro that, that's just a fact of the matter man i didn't create them they so they are so backwards man so look so what i need you to do when your woman not giving you sex man take care of your body focus on your purpose get back on your ambition you got to keep a guessing man okay that is so important man seriously so anyway man so that's i'm done with female nature bro now i'm about to talk about you man I'm about to tell you what you need to do to fix your situation, all right? I would already like talked about it in, in a couple of my points already, but I'm about to just recap it just to make sure everything flows smoothly to you, okay? So check it out. You have to stay alpha, point blank period. If you want your relationship to work forever long, or you want your marriage to work, you have to stay alpha, point blank period. She you met you as an alpha male, you need to stay as an alpha male. Don't simp for anything. Stop simping, okay? Stop simping. Stay on your purpose. Stay on your grind. Hit the gym. Get your money. Get your finance in order. And keep leveling up, man. Point blank period. That's all you need to do. You never need to be caught lacking. When she start to argue with you or throw you shit tests and stuff like that, handle it like a man and keep it pushing. You feel me? You got to be smooth. You got to remain alpha. You feel me? When she's acting up, you got to let her have that instinct. You got to let her know, like, okay, I could replace you like this. I don't care if you're married. You are the man in a relationship. She need to be pleasing you. You understand me? You are a king. That is your queen. The queen need to please the king. And as men in this society, we're forgetting that we are the prize. We are the alpha males. A woman need to treat us correctly. A woman need to abide by our rules. Now, I'm not saying it's a dictator shit. The shit go both ways, right? But I'm just saying we done lost the fact in this generation that a woman need to please us. So, in order to make your relationship work, you need to keep that mentality, bro. Don't over-pursue your woman. Keep it how you met her. Keep it player. Keep it smooth. You know what I'm saying? Let her know. I could replace you like that. I hate that's how the game is, but that's just how it is. You got to keep it player, whether you're in a relationship, in a marriage, or dating, whatever. If you want your woman to act right, you got to let her know. I could replace you. The life that I'm presenting to you, I could give it to somebody else. You got to keep on the toes and keep her in competition mode. That's just the fact of the matter, bro. So if you want your relationship to last, bro, you have to understand female nature and you have to remain an alpha male. And you need to keep leveling up, bro. Keep leveling up just off the strength of this situation right here, bro. Let's just say she decided to, you know what I'm saying, divorce you or break up with you. And you already keep, and you already leveling up. Yes, you're going to take your lick, you're going to be sad, and you're going to cry over your ex-wife or your ex. I get it. But by you leveling up, your SMV, if you don't know what that means, that means sexual market value is already sky high. So once you get over that, maybe that two weeks to three month period of you, you know what I'm saying, you sad over your ex, it won't be nothing for you to get another woman. A woman that's going to be better than her. A woman that's going to be badder than her. A woman that's going to do everything that you want and a woman that's gonna please you. That sounds like a good deal to me. So anyway, man, just be an alpha male. Keep focused on your purpose. Start your business. Get your finance in order. Don't over don't overvalidate your woman. And just keep it playing, man. At the end of the day, you gotta keep your woman on your toes and keep it smooth, man. Keep it play, you feel me? So with that being said, man, if you have any more questions for me, I have my Instagram link in the description box below. Shoot me a DM if you got me a question, just private. But if you have just a regular question, you know what I'm saying, just shoot the question in the comment section. Leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.